guys, good morning, Vlogmas day 22. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, so Vlogmas day 22. We are heading down to go pick up Uncle Chris right now. Um, and then we are going to my mom's and we are baking. So yeah, that's the plan. I have my laptop here so I can make the vlog, like upload the vlog while I'm at my mom's. And yes, it is freezing, yet I didn't want to wear a jacket because I just didn't want to have to carry more shit, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> I have so much stuff to bring into my mom's house that I was like, no, mm -mm, not doing it. So I'm wearing a sweater, but it's chilly. It's like 29 degrees right now. So, you know, living life on the edge. I did see a couple of people ask about like what Uncle Chris's story is. So I figured I would just kind of like give you the a quick synopsis of his story. Um, so he has intellectual intellectual disability um, and he also is schizophrenic and he also has a couple of other like mental health conditions and um, delays and things like that. So that's his story. He, his memory is really not great anymore. Like it's, he, his memory is pretty bad. <laughs> um, he's just not really balanced on his feet too much anymore either. So like, I don't know, you have to, I remind him like, oh, hold the railing when you're going down the stairs. Um, just like things like that, that he just doesn't think about. So yeah, that's like the quickest story. I don't know. Um, what I do with him is basically just do like daily living tasks, like take him to the store. I'm getting a call from my brother. Hello? 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 What's up? Time to come here. I'm on my way now. I'll be there by like 10 15. Oh, okay. But I have to pick up Uncle Chris, so probably like 10 30. Why? Are you there already? Yeah, it's 8 o'clock. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> um, I forgot where I was. But, yeah, I, like, just do, like, daily living tasks with him, like, take him to the grocery store, help him keep his space clean. Right now, he's, like, we're trying to find him a new apartment right now. There's just, like, a lot going on with the apartment he was in before. Um just dealing with a lot of stuff with that like on that end of it like his water wasn't running just like stuff that and like nobody would know that unless I was there do you know what I mean because like he doesn't he wouldn't know to mention it or like he wouldn't want to bother with it so yeah just stuff like that <laughs> um he did have like a caregiver before she wasn't really an aide um, but he did have a caregiver before and she is no longer able to help him because she has her own health conditions going on. So I was like, you know what? I have the time and I honestly enjoy it. Like I, me and my uncle, I've always kind of like done things for him. Like, oh, that scared me. That's my air freshener that I keep up here. But um, I've always kind of done things for him. Like if you remember, if you've been following me for a while, like you would have seen him in the vlogs before with me taking him to some of his doctor's appointments and just driving him here or there. Um, but he really needed someone to kind of like step in and help him out. Cause his memory, again, like he just has a lot going on. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. And he enjoys it. He likes being with people. He enjoys like being out and you know, that kind of thing. So that's a quick synopsis of his story. It's definitely more detailed, but that's the quick synopsis of it. So yeah, um, I'm about to go pick him up and we'll see you guys when we're baking. We are baking today. So we decided, Chris, 
Uncle Chris and I decided to do the baklava thumbprint cookies first. And the recipe yields two dozen. So we're trying to decide if we want to double that or just make it three dozen. What do you think? Do we have enough for four? I think I have enough ingredients for four, but I don't know if it's going to fit all yeah, in this. Yeah. Like I may have to make two separate yeah. doughs, which is fine. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Should we do that? We'll make two at a time. Yeah. Okay. Decided. Um, so this is the taste of home recipe for the baklava thumbprint cookies. So I've never had these. Have you had baklava before? I think I have. I've seen that in a couple of times. It's really good. It's like with the honey and the nuts. Yeah, exactly. And the, usually it's with phyllo dough. So this is like a cookie version. So we'll, we're gonna try it. blossoms now so this recipe I got from New York Times peanut butter blossom it says recipe from the Geraro family makes five dozen cookies takes 35 minutes besides the chill time so let's get on it all right so we just took the baklava thumbprint cookies out of the oven I just was thinking I don't know we have to do a taste test when they're cool me and Uncle Chris um to see how they taste because if they're not amazing maybe we'll just because we i made a double batch of the dough maybe i'll just do the same thing but fill it with raspberry jam instead we'll see that could be good so we are going to take a lunch break we're gonna go pick up some sandwiches eddie's actually here cleaning out my mom's garage before like the true winter comes so that she can park her car in the garage and, doesn't, and she doesn't have to deal with like the icy snow or car you know snow in the car that kind of thing so let's go get the sandwiches take a little break and then <laughs> try the cookie cookies when we get back side note look how cute these things are my mom put <coughs> she put like cranberries and water in her floating right. candles and it looks so <coughs> cute that's my ring <laughs> okay so these cookies are not good <laughs> we may have failed what do you think about them yeah so so all right Uncle Chris took one bite and threw it in the trash. <laughs> you threw it in the trash? Yes, you did! Well, I finished it. In the, yeah. You finished it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. No, Good. you threw it away. <sighs> so, I think we're going to scratch the rest of the dough and throw it out. Because these were not good. They taste like, um... No, I'm out there. What can you do? Can do? like somebody needs it. What do you think? <laughs> he said give them to someone who needs it. What do you think? Yeah, like you said, them, no, don't waste them. It's such a waste. No, not these. I mean the extra dough. I agree with what's the, what's the, to do with it? No, I'm saying. Do like do like a cherry inside or a different kind of filling. Like a jam. Nah. No, it's not good. They're fucking they just bake them and leave them like that. There's chocolate in the middle of them. Nah. Throw them in the garbage, I don't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they're not really flavorful. No, they're not they taste hard, but they taste good. It's like Gets past the, uh, the, the kind of like hard taste thing to it. <laughs> so funny. You just took one bite and threw it in the garbage. Now you're going to tell no, me they I weren't that bad? I told you, Betty. Okay. Because there's too much extract is the problem for me. No, see, the problem for me is it's not flavorful enough. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Right on. Like, it's not sweet enough. <sighs> All right, guys. Just got home. We just let the dogs out. Dan actually pulled in right after I did. So we're going to see what he thinks of the cookies. Uh-oh. He's really critical, so let's see. Super critical. You are. Very, very critical. Oh, staticky. All right. Let's see. Beep, beep, beep. Doo -doo -doo. So what's what? That is a, the first one's a baklava mm. cookie, and then it's a Reese's cookie. Mm. This is baklava. It smells like baklava and almonds. 
No, it doesn't smell like almond? Kinda. Hmm. There's almond extract in it. He always does that, guys. That's not a reaction. They're like, it's like missing something. Or it's just like a light flavor. It's not like... It's really light flavor. Yeah. Like, it kind of like wants to be an almond cookie. Yeah. But like a baklava... It doesn't guys, taste like baklava to me. B baklava is like a Greek dessert, and it's phyllo dough. I know what it is, boo. No, but like if people don't know. Oh. No, they know. Yeah, it's like phyllo dough with like syrup and then nuts at the bottom. No, it's not syrup. It's honey. Is it honey? I always thought it was like syrup. No. Yeah, it's not that great. It's not bad. These are pretty good. I don't know what Eddie was talking about. Yeah, let me try it. Peanut butter blossom. Mm -hmm. My favorite. But not with um, kisses. They're with Reese's. I don't think they're that bad either. <laughs> not that good, though. They're a little dry. Right? Around the edges, but like, they're not bad. They're definitely different than last year's, but mm -hmm. I don't think they're bad. Last year's were so good to me. I don't know what recipe. They were recipe. like moist. Yeah. Like moist. Mm -hmm. Good job, though. These are tasty. Thanks, babes. I'm going to eat them all. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back to my mom's tomorrow with Uncle Chris. But she didn't, I told you guys, she didn't have any baking sheets or cooling racks. I don't think that made that much of a difference, but I'm going to bring them just in case. And I'm going to try a different peanut butter cookie recipe. I didn't throw the cookies away, oh. but I'll try a different one. The baklava ones I'm not going to give out because I don't, I don't like the way they taste. Right here. <laughs> My mom liked them. She said they'd be good with tea. Like they're like a light flavor. It is like, a light. Yeah. You make badass almond cookies though. I know. You ever load the crap out of them. I love those almond cookies. If I can, maybe the bakery is selling them. Um, Maybe the baker is selling almond paste or shop right. We'll see. I don't think I'm making.